putting on the uh, drop spring loose. It's moved up the uh, center of the axle two and a half inches. So that should do what it is that I want it to do. This is the uh, camera adjusting nut. Absolute nightmare to get off. One of them took an hour. I had to use my press and a bullet torch again. They are your friends on the old parts. Oh, any seats. Be right back. Anyway, any seats. One of the suggestions to keep it from permanently binding. Fret not, these are going to get replaced. I'm just going to do all the links at the same time, and I don't have all the uh, engines in. So. New seal. Now it is just caliper shifted too far this way by about maybe a millimeter or two millimeters. So then moving it back will make it moving it back one, which is about the thickness of the shim, will make it work. Oh. 
notice I did not put Loctite on it. I get one on. I do it up snug enough so it holds the caliper in place. Then I Loctite on the other one with the shim. Then I remove the first one and put the Loctite on the bolt. So, second shim, second bolt. I'm pretty impressed with this kit. Um, fitment's working. It's just seems heavy duty enough. I mean, obviously, time will tell on actual usage, but come with what I need 400 bucks to get disc brakes up front. 420, I think it was. Um, didn't come with the hoses. Um, apparently, you can reuse your originals. Mine were rot, uh, as you noticed here in the video, so uh, that was not going to happen for me. But I just ordered those off Amazon. Don't forget the seal. I did. Good. Yeah. 